Uh, the class I was working with on the project was primary four to seven. Quite mixed ability. First of all, I, I put together a plan which linked in with the, the curriculum for excellence outcomes uh, that were relevant to the topic, which weren't all science outcomes. Uh, you know, there were social subjects outcomes there. Uh, we were involved with the technology uh, outcomes. Uh, looking in particular at topic, topical science, which uh, you know in primary schools can sometimes be quite mm. quite a tricky one for uh, teachers to develop. Um, at the same time as doing the the science project, uh, the class teacher uh, who worked with the children uh, most of the time uh, was was doing a, a topic on famous scientists, mm -hmm. which linked in with the social subjects outcomes, uh, but also gave us the opportunity to have. Uh, the link with a modern day scientist so that instead of looking at you know, sort of scientists in the past and their discoveries we were you know we had the opportunity to look at a, a, a scientist in the context of, of a present to show them the crime scene game which was uh, amongst the resources that we had been given and it set the context of the art gallery robbery and each lesson focused on a different aspect of solving the crime. So we first of all started with the fingerprinting here, uh -huh. uh, and then we went, went on to the, the footprints and the blood spatter analysis was at the end. Interviews uh, in our, our towards uh, our sort of second last uh, lesson. Okay. Uh, we had uh, digital microscopes available to us, uh, so that the project provided an opportunity for the children to learn how to use the, the microscopes. We, we went back and we revisited uh, the interviews another couple of times and, you know, actually getting them to sort of focus in uh, on the conversations and, and to look a bit more closely for visual clues from uh, the different suspects. Uh, and it was during that sort of process that they, they realised that, that uh, one of the, the female suspects actually had her hand plastered uh, and that there, there may be a bit more to her than, than met the eye and, and the children uh, added their, uh, their comments to the wiki uh, to communicate with uh, our partner secondary school. The final session that we had where uh, we joined with the other school, the other participating schools for the GLOW meet uh, wasn't particularly successful from our point of view. Uh, we started off well uh, and uh, got, uh, we were in communication with everybody uh, and then there was a breakdown uh, and at some point uh, we lost uh, the, the ability to, um, for, to see and, and hear what they were saying and what was happening. Uh, in the other schools and it would appear from discussion with the other participating teachers that they were able to see and hear us mm -hmm. but uh, we weren't able to uh, to hear and see them. Hello my name is David and we I'm talking about fingerprints and how we did it. Well we got a pencil and a wee bit of paper and mm -hmm. scribbled on the paper and then we put our, rubbed our finger on it, the paper. We figured out that there was f three different um, fin fingerprints. There's a wattle, a arch and a single loop. And most of the people in the class had a wattle. Hi, I'm Jacob and um, I'm going to talk about foot and fingerprint. Um, use sellotape and put our, the sellotape on our finger and pulled it off. Put it on a um, piece of paper. We done it for each finger. What did you do? Well, um, we had to use the uh, tin foil on the um, baking tray, otherwise it wouldn't, the dough um, would stick on. Becky, the blood makes different patterns. Depends on the height and angle you squirt it from. Maya, the, the blood, we watched a PowerPoint to see how blood splatter can happen. At the end, we um, all ripped down the things what we liked at the end. Robert, we used syringes, paint and paper to show that 
someone has been attacked. Hello, my name is Robert and I'm going to talk about teeth prints. First we got a bit of polystyrene cup and we cut it up and we got two bits and folded them together and put our teeth into it. My name's Christopher, Christopher and you can tell where the teeth that you can tell it's a adult or the a boy, a wee kid or something. She that will bite you into them to make her own teeth. You can see whether it's a while or that's a kid or an adult by the number of the teeth. Ben, um, and on the computer one. Um, you could, it was like a wee camera plugged into the computer and you took a photo and it came up with a really clear photo on the computer screen. What we done, um, I done microscopes. Lewis, I'm <laughs> Yeah, um, you had to um, like twist the knobs and that to get the perfect vision of what you, what you wanted to see. It really did appeal to the children. Uh, it made science relevant to them. The, the children loved the project, they, they really did enjoy it, uh, they got a lot out of it, it gave us uh, a lot of opportunities to develop their investigative skills, uh, their communication skills, working collaboratively with others, uh, and activity relating to the fingerprints, mm. uh, and also, you know, sort of probably less obviously, the, you know, the, the, the sort of teeth impressions, mm. you know, links in, you know, to the science outcomes that relate to inheritance. Uh, in terms of Curriculum for Excellence, I think it's, it's an excellent project to do because there are a lot of opportunities to look for cross-curricular uh, linkages, uh, to build their skills, uh, to look uh, at the four capacities which uh, you know, we all you know, looked at in great detail when Curriculum for Excellence first uh, was introduced, but probably we, we Sort of are more focused now on the experiences and outcomes, uh, but for me, you know, it gave us the chance to uh, provide opportunities for the children to work collaboratively, to uh, all contribute together, be effective contributors to the, to the, the project. Uh, it gave them an insight into, as I said previously, the world of work, uh, and you know how you know they might you know be responsible citizens. So you know, it tied in a lot with all of those aspects of curriculum for excellence as well as the cross curricular links you know we were we were looking at the materials uh, with children from age 8 up to you know 11 12 year olds uh, the the children loved the project they they really did enjoy it uh, they got a lot out of it